Welcome to pre-math. In this video, we have got these four squares as you can see in this diagram such that two of these squares are identical squares. This one and this one, they are identical squares. Whereas we got these two green shaded squares as well. And moreover, this line segment A, B, is nine units and now we are going to calculate the total area of this uh, green shaded region please don't forget to give a thumbs up and subscribe let's go ahead and get started and here's our very first step let's focus on this uh, triangle abc as you can see over here since we are dealing with all these squares so therefore this angle has got to be 90 degrees so therefore this is a right triangle let's go ahead and apply the pythagorean theorem and here's our pythagorean theorem a square plus b square equal to c square and in this case let me go ahead and call this side as an a this side as b and this uh, our hypotenuse is going to be c so therefore let's go ahead and fill in the blanks in a, our case, a square plus b square, they are same. And in our case, c is 9 units. So therefore, this is going to become 9 square. So therefore, our a square plus b square turns out to be a 9 square equals to 81. And here's our next step. Let's focus on these two identical squares. Since they are identical squares, so all these sides are equal in length over here just keep in your mind and we know that this side length is a so that means all of these side lengths are going to be a as well and now let's focus on this large green square we know that this length is a and this length is b so therefore this total length is going to be a plus b we are going to add them up and since this square has all equal sides that means this side is equal to this one this one this one so therefore each side length is going to be a plus b over here a plus b over here and a plus b over here as well and now let's focus on this smaller green square we know this whole length this one is a and this side length is b so therefore this side length is going to be simply the difference of two so that is going to be a minus b and since we are dealing with the square so that means all these sides have got to be same so this side is going to be a minus b this side is a minus b and this side is a minus b as well and now let's consider this small green square with the side length is a minus b and now let's recall the area of a square formula which is equal to s square where s represents the side length of the square so therefore let's go ahead and calculate the area of this uh, small green square let me go ahead and represent that area by a of s equal to our side length is a minus b so that's going to become a minus b whole square and now let's recall this famous identity a minus b whole square we are going to apply it on the right hand side so our a of s turns out to be a square plus b square minus 2 times a b let me go ahead and call this our equation number one and now let's consider this large green square with the side length a plus b let's go ahead and calculate its area as well so area of this one i'm going to represent by a of l equals to a plus b whole square and now let's recall this identity a plus b whole square we're going to apply it on the right hand side so our a of l this area is going to be equal to a square plus b square 
plus two a b. Let me go ahead and call this as our equation number two. And here's our final step. We got these equations one and two. And now let's go ahead and add these two equations. And here I have copied down equations one and two as well. And now let's go ahead and add these two equations on the left hand side. This is going to be a sub s plus a sub l equal to on the right hand side. We can see negative two a b and positive two a b. They are gone. So we ended up with simply two a square plus two b square. Now let's go ahead and factor out two outside. So we got two times a square plus b square. But we know that our a square plus b square value is 81. So therefore I am going to replace this a square plus b square by 81. So therefore this is going to become two times 80 one. So therefore the sum of this area a of s and a of l turns out to be 162 square units. So thus our green shaded area turns out to be 162 square units. Thanks for watching and please don't forget to subscribe to my channel for more exciting videos. Bye.